In this video, we will use voice flow to make a customer support automation chatbot. So it says, hello, this is Zen Motion Say I customer support. How can I help? My microwave is not turning on. And it's going to search. This is the data that I wrote. So these are the most frequently asked questions that I get, for example, uh, in my store. And I'm going to just copy paste this into the knowledge base of voice flow and it will answer uh, the questions like this. So I want to ask another question and I want to say, how do I clean up my uh, microwave? And it's going to look for, and it's not going to necessarily copy paste the answer from here, but it will uh, make its own answer. The AI will craft its own answer. And then I can just say end and that's it. So you can also add like sign out messages like uh, nice, to, nice to meet you. Nice to, uh, it was, I'm happy to help you ask another question if you have. Log into your voice flow and we're going to create a new bot. I'm going to click here new agent and I'm going to call it customer support and just continue. But modality, it's going to be chat continue and create agent. We don't need any of this stuff here. So I can just take this whole thing and delete. And you can go ahead and delete others. But I will just move this start here and then start a new uh, chatbot. So first we're going to say text. I'm going to rename this to first message and then enter text. I'm going to just enter, hello, this is Zen Motion AI customer support. Uh, how can I help? And that's it. I will connect start to this node and then I will say listen and capture. I'm going to rename this to capture user response. And let me move everything a bit this way. And then I'm going to go from here to this. And this will be captured into last utterance. And then we will uh, make AI response AI. And it's going to be knowledge base. And the query will, the question will be last utterance. So make sure to put uh, curly brackets, last underscore utterance, curly brackets. It's going to be the same as this one, this variable, where you catch capture the response. I'm going to rename this to answer with AI. And I'm going to click here. There is no not found path. And then instructions are going to be act as customer support AI, answer the user's question, query. And below that, we're going to add um, buttons. So after the AI response, we're going to offer user to ask another question. That's going to be button one. And action is going to be um, go to block. And we're going to go to home. Home, um, capture user response so they, they can ask another question. Or uh, add button. And that's going to be end. And let's create here end. So it's going to be in logic and like this. So this will be end node. And then here we're going to say uh, in end go to actions, go to block, or I can just say end. But okay, so we're going to go to this home and end block here. So this will end. So, so user asks a question, AI answers, and then user chooses if they will ask another or end. And this AI answer, we just need to go now back to workflows and knowledge, add a knowledge base plain text, add data source, and then copy paste your text, your questions and answers. Okay, and then import. And that's it. Now let's go back to home, double click. And let me try to press start here. Um, my microwave is not turning on. I think it's going to answer. Yeah, it's looking for database answer. Okay, and then I just want to end and that's it. So that was it. 
Now, depending on where you want to deploy this, either WhatsApp, Telegram, Shopify, you should just search on YouTube how to deploy a voice flow chatbot on WhatsApp, for example. And it's probably a few minute video that's very easy to follow. And I might be making this in the future. Also, I have a company that helps companies, other enterprises, automate their customer support. Uh, we're specific, we're uh, doing mostly Shopify. So if you need help, you can contact me on the email below. Thank you for watching.